Okay. It's all right, yeah. Oh, got it covered. I'll do with it the next exchange, right? I'll call you back. Bricks were laid using stolen gold. I shall return to claim what is mine. Come on. Misha, where is it? Where are you?
heads or tails. My gold. No, I didn't. I'll make you one last deal. What is it? You lived in the gold, right? That's right. Well, now, the gold lives in you. <laughs> Who's this? Hello, this is Sean West of Red Tower Solicitors. Sorry, what's this about? It's regarding your inheritance of the Marigold Estate. Sorry, Marigold Estate? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I know. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I know! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, they literally just handed you the keys? Yeah. I couldn't quite believe what I was hearing, could I? So have you spoken to your stepmom about it? Um, your dad must have been a pretty big deal to own the estate. Well, she's just as shocked as I am, really. She didn't know that you owned an estate. Yeah, is this definitely legit? I mean, we've been dating for five years, not once have you mentioned your father, let alone your brother. That's because I don't know much about my dad, do I? He died when I was young and Linda brought me up. So, why only now you inherit and not when your dad died? Jane. Well, I'm just saying, when he died all those years ago, I bet there were a few things of value knocking about. So, why is it all fallen to the hands of Stuart? I don't know, Jane. Yeah, it doesn't seem to add up, that's all. I mean, regardless, I am sorry for your loss. Thanks. Thanks. So, what are you going to do with the place? Um. well, I did toy with the idea of transferring the salon over. Mm. But everything I have is here. You know, Ben, my friends, my family, my whole life, really. Perhaps a fresh start will do you some good. Only yesterday you were saying how you feel stuck in a rut at work. It doesn't mean she has to move halfway across the country. Yeah, maybe you could sell it. Well, I've always wanted to go travelling. Yeah? Look out, soon you and Ben will be going across Europe in a camper van. <laughs> <laughs> so when are we going to visit the place? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Sam, are you all packed up and ready to go? Yeah. Thanks for coming with us. Don't be silly, of course I've come. I know it must be quite hard for you. I know how much you love my dad. Yeah, he meant a lot to me. Well, I remember when I met him. You were so telling me. You're all grown up now. <laughs> and now I just... I really wish I got the chance to know him, you know? You hardly talk about him. I was just in a really bad place. I mean, he had just passed away. I know, Monia, I'd taken on the responsibility of raising you by myself, and... and you know, some things are just better left in the past. Feels like I was quite a burden to you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. You know, you knew the world. And I'm sorry, I just... I'm just feeling so overwhelmed with all of it. I don't even know how you guys met. For goodness sake. <laughs> okay. So, I was on a Hendo and a group of guys were in town. We all got carried away and before we knew it, I was in a five-star hotel being seduced with champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that night. He was such a gentleman. <sighs> he just lost your mum. But he had you. You know, he was a stockbroker. He was a stockbroker. Oh, yeah. I mean, I knew he had money, but I didn't know to what extent. I don't know why he kept all that from me. Well, I guess we'll find out soon why. Yeah. Anyway, got a long journey to ask. So drink up, get some sleep, and eat some pancakes in the morning. <laughs> no, I love you. the overdraft? No worries. Trade in your wedding ring for a buyback guarantee that suits you. Boil is broken, but you can't afford the repair. Keep the kids warm by trading your jewellery into one of our very popular financial plans. Buyback guaranteed at a set interest rate. Ever been lucky metal detecting? Ever seen the glitter at the end of a rainbow? You know who to call. Stuart Marigold. Link here or call 0208 684 53. Your Linda makes an awesome breakfast. I know. Save some for me, will ya? Sadie's on her way over, and Jane won't be far behind. All right, let's be getting ready then. Don't forget your bikini. I won't. There's nothing more hot than a girl in the pool. <laughs> As if I own a house with a pool. I know, it's crazy. One minute I'm worried about getting stuck in the same old rut at the salon, and the next minute I feel like this trip is just going to change our whole future, Ben. Okay, first of all, don't put too much pressure on yourself, okay? For all we know, we might turn up and it might be nothing like the photos, okay? So yes, this is once in a lifetime opportunity, but let's just relax and enjoy it for what it is, okay? Yeah, you're right. Now give me them. Sorry I'm late, my train got cancelled. A likely story. Push you. There is a thing called a sat-nav, you know. It's a map of the grounds. 
You need to start thinking about where the neighbouring boundaries are and check that they're correct. <laughs> yeah, you can't be too careful these days. God forbid someone who puts a fence two inches in the wrong <laughs> direction. <laughs> Came with my initial research into the property. I just figured we should try and get to know the original owners. Right. In your pop, here we set off now. We'll be there in five and a half hours. You are so lucky you need to talk forward. Wow. Back to the biggest room. Should we just get exploring? Oh no, my head's spinning from that drive. Are you alright, Mum? Be nice to look around. I'll go get the rest of the stuff out of the car. You go and have a lie down. No, oh, thanks, Ben. Yeah, and don't forget our pool party later. Where is the pool? Mm, can't miss that. <laughs> Where is the pool? Um, well, according to this, the centre's just through the back of the house. Previously used for entertaining, visiting clients and solidifying business deals. You must have handled some huge contracts. All the more reason to get stuck in and enjoy these surroundings. Back in a sec. I'll come with you. So, initial thoughts? Yeah, I'm excited. Obviously being kept in an immaculate condition. But at the back of my mind, I just... I can't believe that all of this was my dad's. And I had a brother that lived here that I knew nothing about. It must be so surreal. However, look at the opportunity you've been given here. If you look around, this place must be worth a fortune. No, you're right. You could even buy your own salon once you've flogged this place. It's time to focus on you now, on your future. It's Oh. Wow, an actual ball. 
speak of the insane parties you can have here. This is literally another level. Shame there's no booze left in here. Oh, it's well, it's state agents had a knees up. That's highly unlikely. That's a good point. Where is all the steward stuff? Did you see anything in the house? I didn't think to check. Say? I don't know, that's something to investigate once we get back up there. Perhaps the live-on stuff took his belongings. What, they still work here? Yeah, of course. Who else should they looks after the grounds? Guys, look, here we are. Wow, it's beautiful. No shoes in the whole area. You lived up having an accident. The pool reopens at six. Sure, no problem. Can we get your name? Misha. Which one of you is Tilly? Oh, that's me. It's nice to be here. Nice to meet you too. The only thing you can do is make some cuts, Tilly. Shh, don't be mean. Your boss just died and she's moving in the middle off. Maybe. Total mood cut. Absolutely. I miss God. I don't miss him much. You live in an old Victorian house, don't you? Yeah! It's freezing. At least you can sunbathe if you wanted to. Mm. Took me from my crummy apartment. Mm. Not all mine either. He's an absolute pervert. You can't even wear shorts out to a lewd comic. What is that? I don't know. Some kind of herb, maybe? It's a clover. Oh, it's a four leaf clover. These are known for bringing luck and protection to those who own them. An old Irish myth. The four leaves represent faith, hope, love, and luck. I learned about this in my herbology and ancient cultures class. But why are they the only plants in here? There's, there's no, no others in here. I don't know. Something seems off. Oh, it's just pure chance, that's all. I'm surprised you even managed to track me down. Well, listen, I love you, Anthony. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you and everything you've achieved. This couldn't have happened to a nicer person. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Oh. Now that we're all here. <laughs> Tatele. It was all the luck of the Irish. <laughs>
Give me my gold. You have one chance to make this right. Is this supposed to be some sort of joke? A photo with my face scratched out and a note calling me a thief. Real mature, guys. Little girl used to always love the brightly coloured plasters. They were your favourite. But your dad, he always used to hate it because whenever I'd stick one on you, you'd always rip it off immediately and ask for another one. <laughs> I don't remember that. Why me? I have literally tried so many times to start afresh with her. You can't start pointing the finger at people, Tilly. So we are thinking, Jane. See, Mum? Even Sadie thinks so too. Let me see the note again. Thief. Thief. We're not talking about the gold, right? I just thought we were past this. Are we talking about Beth? She's still... Oh, see the way she looks at him. I do too. I just figured she knew where the line was. So she still sees it as you stealing her power? Yeah, I'm sure she does. I mean, yeah, she told me that she was attracted to him. But so was I. And it was early days and I knew that he liked me back. It is a shitty thing to do though, Tilly. Yeah, and I've apologised a thousand times. What more do you want me to do? No. It's weird. I can't help but think there's something more to this. Wait. When I went for the nap earlier, there was an envelope on the floor and it was just the same size as that. What, when you first arrived? But why would it come with a photo of you with your face crossed out? When would Jane have time to do that? Unless this whole thing was pre-planned. Well, surely she's not that crazy. Is she? Sorry, you were right. The pool cleaner is booked for Thursday, so I can watch Romario for a few hours while you sort that. Oh, great. Thank you. That would be perfect. No problem. Oh, I left his blanket in the machine. It looked like it could do with a refresh. Oh, I can't remember the last time it was fixed, to be honest. He will be happy in the morning. Anyway, um, I'll see you Thursday then, Misha. I'll see you then. Bye. Thank you. 
Is that gold? <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? Misha? Is that you? Give me the gold, Chief. Taking what's not yours. I was just curious. I I didn't mean to steal anything. You get away with it, did Serves you right, you dirty little teeth. I'm so proud of you.
Scott. Definitely not Scott. Who did this? Why is it long? I found this note in the bathroom. The joke stops now. Right, listen to me, guys. I need honesty. Of course. Is it any of you? I can't believe you're even asking me that. Why the hell would I do this? What would I possibly gain from doing this? Why would any of us? I don't know, okay? It's weird. All of this is weird. Look. Only Tilly and Linda have had the note so far, so what if it was one of them? But why? What is that? What? What? Your father doesn't know what he got mixed up in. What do you mean? Ask your mother. She was here before asking a load of questions. What? She came. She came to see Stuart. Teeth. I never touched your gold. Teeth. I promise. Low down, dirty teeth. I only took the pendant because I wanted extra protection against you. No, 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 the gold. Where's the... Stuart taking the gold was a bad idea, but he wouldn't listen. I knew you'd come back, and that's why I took the pendant from the fireplace. You're a low life. You weren't even content with your boyfriend's loot. You even kept the dirty little maggot that lived here, away from me. I'm sorry. You watched him die, and you didn't even help. <laughs> for my baby. And now I shall take your son. No! Your baby's too. No! <sighs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
and I'll be back for yours. When you're old enough. <laughs> What is it? Oh. Oh. Photos. Photos? Oh. Oh, it's Stuart. Oh, let me see. What the? What? Um... It's, um... Oh, it's... Go and spit it out. Check the safe again. Right. I've had enough of this shit. Downstairs now, so we can finally figure out what the hell is going on. This is crazy. I mean, it can't be any of us. We're all in the shop. Hold on. It's a letter. Oh, God. What now? The beastly little parasites of the Marigold estate. Hmm. Hurry up, Ben, to spit it out. What you've taken doesn't belong to you. Give it up now or pay the ultimate price. Take it? What, the gold? We found it. It's on Tilly's property and you can't steal what's yours. So who else could it belong to? Oh, no, maybe we should just put it back. No, I'm with Ben on this. We keep it. You okay? <laughs> I've had enough of this. Oh, there's something in it. What does it say? One by one, ye shall all perish. Who goes first is she of lowest morale. She? Guess I'm all right then. Ben. <laughs> what absolute waffle. Great place you inherited, Tilly. Oh, do you know what? I've had enough of this. I need some air. You coming? Are you coming, Ben? No. Right, you go, let's go. Mm. What is it, hon? Have you been here before? No. Yeah. Well, I saw Misha earlier and she said that you'd been up here. Can I help you? I'm here to see you. Is he expecting you? Not. It's okay, Misha. Add this Monday into the study. Drink? I'm fine. I'll apologise about my tone, Linda, but as I made it abundantly clear on the phone, I've got nothing left to discuss. Your father, he left you quite the inheritance, didn't he? Yes, my father. And as I said, he had another child. <sighs> Not an easy thing to prove. Oh, I'll get the shovel. Sorry. That was out of line. Forget it. In fact, let's cut the shit. You want something. What is it, money? You feel like you're entitled to something? Oh, not me, but my daughter Tilly. Your half-sister. Yes. Half, maybe. So you're not at all interested in doing right by your own sister? 
She's not my responsibility, and I will no longer discuss it. Stuart, please, I'm not suggesting anything unreasonable. I... Enough! She wants the gold. It's mine. Leave. Now. You're just like your father. You could have been so much better. Once or twice, I tried to call to meet him, but he made it clear he wasn't interested. So, regardless, I went to see him. I don't know what to say. Well, there's nothing much to say. No. <laughs> he didn't have anyone, he was alone. And I guess he just thought it was better to go to you than be in the government's house. Did you hear that? Yeah. I think it's coming from the car. Surely she wouldn't have just left him out here on his own. I did see her earlier and she was acting really strange. Dressed to the late Nisha Hunt. It's just got some blood on it. Go back to my room, Tony. Let's get this out of time to enjoy the It's dead. What's going on? They always have outages, and we'll just try again later. We, um, we probably should tell the others about the baby. I think Sadie's still upstairs resting from a pain canal. All right, I'll go and get Ben. Where's Jane? No idea. Do you think we're together? I'm sure nothing untoward is happening. All right, I'll go try and find her.
Sorry for that, I'll explain. Oh, would you? Can you blame me to leave? Maybe you know it was an issue. No attention, really. Just remember what I'm saying, Romeo. Find his keepers. You took what was mine. I'm sorry to tell you, it's nothing. It's a mistake. Excuse me. It's nothing, Jane. I'm in love with Tilly. Do you know what, then? It really was nothing. Keep battering. Sorry. The trust is not the bed any broke you. All because you were thinking of your dick. Sorry. Lately you've been. Don't even patronise me, Ben. Just be a man of dick responsibility for a change. Right, I'm sorry, I will, I promise. Just give me one more chance, okay? Let me make it right. Just get out. I need you in the house now. Right. Is that a baby? Tilly? Something's happened. <laughs> Hello? Did your eyes light up when you saw me go? Pipes are calling for you, watching times upon you. <laughs> No 
difficult in here. Nice new shoe for me collection. <laughs> He's gonna die, the kid. We need to keep him safe. Fallen clovers. There must be something in here that needs protecting. It's not just going to let us do what... It's a leprechaun. Well, what the hell do we do? We hope this damn thing works. Well, what are we supposed to do? We need to give him back his gold. No. You saw what he did to Jane. That won't be enough. Hide here. In the shed. No, Mum, no, please. I'm going back to the house. No. I need to get the baby. He's safer with us. Is he? What about Sadie and Ben? I need to help them. Please stay. No! You wait for me here. And if I don't come back, I take the gold and you run. And never stop running. Ever.
and this pair even fits. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't expect anything less than sneaky tactics from the Queen Bitch herself. You take me gold, and then you try to go for me bloody family jewels. How dare you! One of you will tell me where me gold is. But if you give me what is mine, I'll spare one of your souls. Fuck is up! You've got a filthy little mouth. Now tell me where me gold is. Stop! You got what I want? You have what I want? That darn pendant. Witch! You can't hurt me. You'll never get your call back. <laughs> ah. I can't hurt you physically, no. But your ma, your ma has beautiful eyes. <laughs> Now tell me where the gold is. Buy yourself an eyesight patch. Mom. Oi! Looking for something. Give me gold. Give me that gold. <laughs> Close, Mum. The pendant will protect us. Time to die. Maybe you hit the gold inside your head. Let's crack it open and see. Wait. Uh, Wait. What do you want? Please, don't 
don't hurt her. I'll kill her. I'll give you whatever you want. Just don't hurt my mum. Look at the gold. Hmm. 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 I've got me gold. What else could you offer me? Well, surely a handsome man like you isn't interested in just gold. What? Are you crazy? <laughs> maybe. Or maybe I'm just attracted to a man with power. Have you ever kissed anyone before? Only Satan's concubine. Once. Just one little kiss. If you don't like it, kill us both. safe now. Mom, you should be resting. I'm feeling better now. I was worried about you too. Speaking of a little one, what should we do with him? Like I said before, the police will sort it out. His mother must be dead. The police, they'll sort all of that out. We can't tell them, can we? About the leprechaun? No. You can't explain this to anyone. You need to leave. Start a new life. Be safe now, little one. It's for the best. I know. Of it here. Yeah, it's ideal, Hank. What is it, Ellen? I ordered some parcels last night. They're due tomorrow. Did you ever think you'd be in this position? I know, but money will only stretch so far. So enjoy it now. This entire place is completely paid for. We can get little part-time jobs to cover the bills. What? What? <laughs> A harmless <bed. laughs>
Are you sure you haven't spent all your money on that gold tooth? <laughs> Let's have another look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look again. How long was I out for? I don't know, but you just needed it after that walk. <laughs> what are we going to do for dinner tonight? Um, should we go out again? Well, we can. But remember what I said about the money. Okay, one last time. <laughs> Why don't you go and put on a new outfit? Get yourself a new man. Congratulations. You have chose a village with no men under 60. Ugh, I need a toy boy. <laughs> You've quite the taste for gold.
That's a pretty little dog. What you got there? Do the favorite top in this one. <laughs> Well, <laughs> 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 like my new pendants. <laughs> 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 